are you delusional? Do, are, do you suffer from a mental illness? Do you think you do? It's very understandable that this seems like I'm mentally deluded and I... I... <laughs> oh boy! It's very understandable that people would... <laughs> God damn it. It's fill time everyone. We got a brand new fresh one coming right at you. This one is about Goose. Says his job is to protect people. His name is not just Goose, of course, it's Goose Wayne. Now, if it hasn't connected yet, yes, he's Batman. I became Goose Wayne about five months ago. Oh, God. Well, this should be really interesting. First of all, is he wearing a Joker suit? What kind of Batman, Joker, Goose merch is this? My name's Goose Wayne, brother. All right, Goose. All right. All right, whatever you say, just let go of my hand, Goose. <laughs> The first time I saw oh, myself God. in the mirror with my mask and my makeup, I felt empowered. <laughs> I mean, why wouldn't you feel empowered if that's how you look like? He looks like a raccoon. People take me more serious. I'm not crazy. I'm not delusional. <laughs> you know, people take me more serious in this outfit. I'm not crazy. I'm not delusional. What are these shots? They always get the weirdest shots. Like, do you imagine they, they just approve of this? They're like, all right, can we get some shots of you in the Batman thing? All right, sure, I'll stand in front of my pickup truck and stare awkwardly into the camera. Is that, is that what you want? You're like, what? I have fully embraced my Goose Wayne persona. My Go Did he just... Did he just say... Did he just say persona? It all makes sense now. <laughs> Goose Wayne, his persona... Oh my god, this has to be trolling. Did this man just troll himself into Dr. Phil? Is that what's happened here? Alright, we're, we're gonna look more into this. Or at least this makes it more interesting. We gotta find out if this is real or not. Alright. There's no going back. What As are these shots? My day to day is finding people that are breaking the wall and I try to bring them to justice. Jesus Christ. What is this? Some alt reality Alex Jones? Like, look at his build as well. That is literally Alex Jones. <laughs> I physically trained to be Batman, to win fights. Well, you ain't doing good, boy. I'm sorry. I don't know what to tell you, man. This is my boxing gym. I box here every day. I'm doing the- Okay, let me just stop there. No one that punches bah, 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 is doing that unironically. Why did they blur down his crotch? Draw attention to Goose Wayne. And if I'm Why did I look down his crotch, you may ask? Don't ask that. But why did they blur his crotch? What has happened? I'm so confused. I have been very careful to not show my face on social media because I don't feel comfortable. Well, Goose Wayne, I'm sorry, but I think that the secret is out, all right? <laughs> Legally, I want to change my name to Goose Wayne Batman. If Kaylin marries me, she would be Mrs. Batman. That's not even an option. What? I love that idea. Who doesn't want to be Miss Batman? Come on. This guy's just bored with life. He says, like, you know what? Yeah. <laughs> I don't care if I'm on Dr. Phil. I hope to wear the full costume on my wedding day. I'm not spending $4,000 for you to walk down the aisle in a, in a Batman suit. It's not happening. But that would be so cool, though. Come on. Let's think about this. So he can't afford buying the full outfit. So he just has the mask right now and the Joker suit, I guess, for some reason. She wants to marry me. You're going to marry me for me. This is me. This is my authentic self. All right, thank you for being Oh, sure it is. Okay, so there we go. All right, let's see what he has to say. I want to... They always exaggerate on the previews, right? Let's see what he has to say, bald to baldy. You can't lie to Dr. Phil. You just can't. Are you uncomfortable to not have your Correct. mask on? Yes, sir. Why is that? I don't feel like I'm me right now. It would be like... You're used to dressing in a certain attire and somebody puts you in an attire that you're not used to dressing in. in. Wait, this is the same thing with the last girl. She's like, hey, I don't care about all this makeup, but I don't feel like I'm myself without it. It's a common theme. Maybe it is real. One point for the, ah, maybe it is real jar. <laughs> By the way, I realize, okay, I don't want to be so cynical and say, you know, if this guy actually has a problem, I, I wish only the best, okay? But the problem here is if I just go, this is fucking fake, what an idiot. Uh, if it isn't, then I look like an idiot <laughs> and an asshole. Well, Dr. Phil basically proposes, well, you like to help people. Uh, why don't you just get a job as a police officer? So 
why not go to the police academy where you can actually protect people? And his response to that was basically, well, I don't want it. <laughs> they don't let me dress up as Batman, okay? That kind of uh, environment is just not for me. I like to do my own thing. He then says that he believes he can help more people uh, by doing the whole Batman shtick. I haven't exactly figured everything out yet, but I focus on uh, cyberbullying, things like that, that um, a lot of people don't know exist. How is cyberbullying real? Ha 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 ha. <laughs> Actually, that's kind of heartwarming. That makes me think it's real. You have Batman not fighting crime, but fighting online cyberbullying. That makes me think Goose Wayne is real. <laughs> Now, let's change the pace a bit and see what the wife has to say about it. Because she's not too happy about this uh, sudden change that occurred. My fiancé believes that he is a real-life superhero. Just fighting crime and taking care of business. His real name is Giovanni. That is not the name that defines me. My name is Goose Wayne. What is he doing wrapping himself with pink? That is not the name! How dare you, mom? I'm Bruce Wayne! Why does he remind me a little bit of Nerd City? Is that weird? <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry, I don't know why. I refuse to call him Goose, but I call him G. He started believing that Alex he was a Jones! superhero only about two weeks after we got engaged. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Starting to connect some dots here. Oh, sh- I'm getting engaged. My life is set out for me. I have no other path to take from here. No, I'm Batman. One day, my fiance bought a mask. No one cared who I was until I put on the mask. Wear a belt. I usually keep all kinds of items in my pockets. That's good. That's good to keep items in your pockets. A unique skill, unique trait. He bought a suit and then a grappling hook came. He got a grappling hook! What is he grappling there? <laughs> He bought a suit and then a grappling hook came. Hey Batman, can we get a shot of you using the grappling hook? Sure, I'll just throw it out there on the line. My pants have knee pads. I might be Kevlar in here. I'm not exactly sure. These pants, knee pads, might have Kevlar. Who knows? I haven't cut them open to check. But you know, let's say if Peter Pie comes in and stabs me in the knee, I'm protected. So fair game, Batman. Fair game, Bruce Game. Bra Goose game, bruise, whatever. This is not just for attention. He is a 24 hour superhero. This is real life. This is not some sort of fairy tale. My fiance doesn't go anywhere without the makeup on if he doesn't oh, have God. the mask. Sometimes I'm embarrassed to be seen with him. G wearing the mask has definitely hurt our sex life. <laughs> oh God, does he wear the mask when they have sex? Oh God. How is she still with him? Oh, look at that. Oh, look at no. I think Goo's main job as Batman seems to just chug down beers. I don't know. I'm sorry, that's it. This is what I'm seeing. For the past five months, I've been going to sleep with the mask on. Oh, he sleeps sleeping with the mask. And he's wearing the mask. His breathing echoes in his mask and he sounds like oh, Darth he's... Vader. <laughs> How is she not run away yet? So they just got engaged and then all of a sudden he becomes bad. <laughs> I think he looks like a raccoon with just eye ping on. I almost at this point prefer the mask over the raccoon face. I mean, G really does patrol his neighborhood looking to fight crime. Right now I'm going to the gas station, gonna okay. see if there's any trouble going on over there. And I might even come back with some beers. <laughs> <laughs> I called it. I fight crime every day, but mostly I just like to have some beers. He has been in real fights before. What's up, Gotham? Looking for the newest villain on the block. Who's next? He's driven upwards of two hours to fight someone that looked like the Joker. He drove two hours to fight someone that looks like the Joker. I want to see this. You know the movie Kick-Ass? When basically someone just decides, hey, I'm going to be a superhero. But it's actually a cool concept, you know? He does go out and fight crimes. I mean, he's doing the same thing. This is basically the plot of Kick-Ass. Except this is the guy that had a midlife crisis. Has lost all of the fights. <laughs> he <laughs> lost all his fights. <laughs> it hurts. Like, oh, I feel like I shouldn't be laughing. It's just too good. Dr. Phil, God bless you for finding these guys. 
to get married with the makeup or the mask on, there's absolutely no chance I will go through with that. If you want to oh, marry me, on. you have to marry Goose Wayne. Yes. Ooh. I'm Period. not going to let him show up looking a fool in front of all my friends and family. All right. It's Dr. Phil time. Let's see what she has to say to Dr. Phil about the situation. Maybe we can get a couple of clues because I want to find out at the end. Oh my God. So, oh, look, they go on the bike together. That's kind of cute. God damn it. I want it to be fake. I don't want it to be real. Ah! This is him before. You know, he's a handsome looking, healthy guy, yeah. served in the military. You make a very handsome couple. And then here you are afterwards. What happened along about that time? Anything you can point to? So basically, she's saying nothing happened. Just as soon as we got engaged, he just became like this. No childhood trauma, no special event, no triggering thing or whatever. I mean, she's known him since he's 14. So... Is Giovanni and woke up as Batman? No, so it was this very gradual process. And it's not a joke to you. I mean, I don't know how to how to take it because this is such a unique situation that I've never had to deal with. This is not something that normal people do on a daily basis that they dress up and put on makeup and a whole costume and kind of parade around. If she's acting, she's really good. Let's just say that. Oh God, I'm so confused. This is so hard. I'm curious how much you're willing to enable this or how much you're willing to say, you need to choose between that and me because you can't have both. That's what my said did with the Xbox but I still got my Xbox. Yeah, Mars says leaving me. I'm just kidding. <laughs> are you delusional? Do, are, do you suffer from a mental illness? Do you think you do? It's very understandable that. All right, so let's have Dr. Phil talking to Mr. Goose again. Uh, I just love this Are you so much. delusional? <laughs> do, are, do you suffer from a mental illness? Do you think you do? It's very understandable that this seems like I'm mentally deluded and I, I see that's the thing he's so like yeah I get it it's kind of weird but ah uh, I think I'm pursuing my goal of inspiring people but is it selfish it may be um, in regards to to her well she matters she does matter right you look beautiful by the way so basically he's saying oh well it's not selfish for me to do this because I'm helping other people and Dr. Phil is trying to make him realize, well, you're not helping your wife. A long distance relationship is already hard enough. And then to add this element of whatever this is on top of it, it's even more challenging. So and then it just gets even worse. Okay. Like Dr. Phil asks a great question. Does he wash the suit? Does he wash the suit? No. no. It has coffee, beer. Um, <laughs> He's got the Joker. What are these pictures? Sweat. The inside of his Batman mouse is absolutely there disgusting. Is. Right there. You said he has a fungus growing from the... Yeah. Ew. You can see white patches on the top of his head. That's not like a sunburn or dry skin. That's like... What? Fungus from sweating inside of his mask. He tried to put his mask in my purse today and I grabbed it and it was like actually slimy. Ugh. It's just sweat. It's just it's sweat. Disgusting. I think it's just one of the um, work hazards, I guess you would call it. Just one of the work hazard. Fungus growing on my face. What? <laughs> just one of the work hazards. It just comes with the jab. I don't know what to say. <laughs> so basically, Dr. Phil, being the absolute saint that he is, has offered to send him to a clinic with two professionals to help evaluate him, to help understand the root of the problem, what caused this sort of behavior, and they're willing to pay for the whole thing and just send him there so he can recover. I want to welcome Dr. Daniel Suzuki and Trevor Osmus. Uh... So they're gonna send him to this place. It's basically like the ranch, but not really the ranch. I mean, I wish it was the ranch. Uh, it looks fantastic, right? His response is... Are you willing to go and be evaluated and take a look at this? Uh, we, we would have to work scheduling. You don't have a job. <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> I'll have to work my scheduling between buying beers at the gas station and throwing grappling hooks. What the heck? There has to be joking. I don't have a, a like a, a government at job that. type deal, but um, I have a dog. He has a dog. Uh -huh. Right. I'm the only one that could take care of my dog, so. What? The dog? What does that even mean? 
Okay. Ronaldo, are you still there? Wait, I'm still here. Is uh, that his dog? You would support this, would you not? <gasps> I, I would support. So Re Ronaldo supports it. His dog supports it. That's great. <laughs> So uh, these two guys that look like they look like they're gonna beat him up. Like I don't know, um, they're here to help him, and there again they say but something's gone terribly wrong here. And I think if you come to our facility, we have a team of people who can help you get on the right path and help you and Kaylin figure out your future if you guys are in the future together. Absolutely. Sounds great, I'm right? I'm making you the offer. I would really have to take a step back and and look at my scheduling. Oh, God damn it! Oh. God damn it, Goose! Okay. Oh my god. I mean, Batman has to be a busy busy guy. I, I understand that. <laughs> I always wonder how Bruce Wayne has time for all this. Being a billionaire and running all these companies, but also fighting crime at the same time. How does he do it? He just has to check his schedule, everyone. Completely understandable. There you have your answer. Oh god. Just leave him. Please, just leave him. Like, what the hell? She gets the greatest epiphany of all time. Odd timing with our engagement. Uh, I was just kind of hoping that they weren't related. Um, but now I'm starting to think that it is related. Gee, you think? <laughs> Hiding, right? And escaping into fantasy. And that certainly fits with that theory. Yeah, yep. Damn, I feel bad for her. I, uh, I don't want it to be real because then it's so funny, right? I currently have all wedding plans on hold. She says she has the wedding planning I on hold. I my dress yet. And no pictures. Uh, we haven't even gotten engagement pictures or anything done. And then... I can't move forward. Uh, God. We can do the engagement pictures. <laughs> <laughs> we can do them. I'm just going to be dressed up like this. Like, what's the problem? You're the problem. You're holding everything back, all right? So, so now... Our prayers have been answered. They do a, like an after taping to get like a conclusion of the whole thing. Have we learned anything today here? Is she going to stay with him or not? Dr. Phil after taping. I don't think there's anything wrong with me to go to a hospital, especially if mentally. I don't think there's anything mentally off about me. Just look in the mirror. So he doesn't want to go. He doesn't want to go. See, that makes me think he does. He is trolling. I don't think he's sick, but I don't think it would be bad to take a look. It'd be like going to like an orthopedic because for my ankle or something, and my ankle doesn't hurt at all. His ankle doesn't hurt at all. I want this to phase out. I want to go. <sighs> I want, what, like going out somewhere and you not having that on? Like is that? That's, really that's the compromise that I, I can do. I can, you know, oh, you want to go out to a nice dinner. You don't want Goose Wayne. You want the old me. Yeah, then I, we can go out and I won't. I won't wear anything, I'll, I'll dress nice or whatever you want. Calling it Batman is no longer an option if you want to get married. <laughs> What's so funny? Why is she I'm, still- I'm, I'm working, I'm trying. I will not get married to this man until it's not Batman anymore and it's Giovanni. Oh, God damn. Just leave him, please. Please. Well, there you have it, folks. Another Dr. Phil. God damn, I love it so much. I hope you guys enjoyed as well. Smash like if you did. And check out Dr. Phil. Support the show so we can have more stuff to react to. Very epic. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. And I'll see you guys tomorrow on another one. Another video tomorrow. Yay. Woo.